Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 22nd of January 2020 and the time's just gone 11.55 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Copper. As we can see here, since October onwards, Copper has been pushing higher. And in fact, last week hit a level last seen uh, since May last year. Sorry, apologies. Yes, early May last year. So the market hit a multi-month high. That would suggest things are moving to the upside. It would suggest also that, that the metal has kind of snapped out of the range found trade that was kind of locked in uh, for, for quite some time. But as we can see here, we have seen a bit of a sharp enough move to the downside. Uh, we've had a fairly aggressive sell-off. Uh, in, in the last couple of sessions, a very bearish looking candle yesterday. Uh, the market the market closed pretty much at the low of the session. Uh, we can also see on the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, there's been a steady increase in negative momentum. So the bearish move we've seen has been confirmed by the increase in negative momentum. So is this the question we can ask ourselves is that are we going to see a further decline in the near term uh, for copper? Is this going to be a reversal of copper's fortune or is it just simply the market having a fairly decent pushback before it potentially continues in the wider upward trend that it's been in since October? So it is worth keeping an eye on the weekly chart, weekly candle. Uh, we can see here that this could potentially form as a potential for a bearish weekly reversal here. Obviously today is, today is Wednesday, so we just see how things play out for the next couple of days. But that is something that we need to keep keep an eye on. And if you do have, if you do have further ground to lose uh, on copper in the near term, where could it potentially find support from? It might potentially find support from this zone here in around 276 a pound down to 275.1 cents per pound. This area here has a potential to act as support. We did see uh, uh, this region act as support on a number of occasions at the beginning of the month. So the possibility it might act as support in the near term. Um, should we see a decent break below that though, that could be a signal that we're in for further losses and it could potentially take us back towards this red line here, the 200 day moving average. And that comes to play at 268.5 cents per pound. And we can see here that that, that metric uh, acted nicely as resistance back in early, early November. And if a metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it will be important in the future. Obviously there are no guarantees. This is, and it's only really if you have a fairly size of break below that, can then we begin to think, you know what, maybe uh, the upper trend we've seen since October has run its course and we could be looking for further losses from there. But keep in mind, uh, we, did, we did achieve multi-month highs not that long ago, so the possibility that the wider upward trend could continue. Should that be the case and should we look to kind of shake off and shake off the, the recent losses and, and regain the ground that was lost recently? We could be looking at retesting the highs of, uh, of mid-January, which comes into play in this area here in around 287.8 cents per pound. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at targeting this area here. Um, levels last seen in April, at the back end of April last year. And that would come into play in, in around 291 cents per pound. Um, it is worth keep, keep, keeping, 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 keeping in mind that we're approaching the China, the uh, the um, the Lunar New Year celebrations. Uh, given that, we, we, we probably see a slowdown in economic activity uh, out of China in the next few weeks. So any kind of economic indicators we see in the next couple of months need to take notice, need to take note that that might be impacted uh, by what's going on in relation to the, um, the Lunar New Year celebration. Also, be, be mindful of what's going on in relation to potential health scare that's going on in China at the moment. Um, obviously, China is a large importer of this particular red metal, so any kind of signs that economic activity are be are, be, are going to be hampered because of uh, potentially because of the health potential health health crisis over there, that could have negative impact on this particular red metal. Uh, thank you for listening to this, to this video, and please tune in next week. Thank you very much.